Good morning, students. I am Dr. P. Saravanan, Assistant Professor of Chemistry, King's College of Engineering. Uh, today, we are going to discuss about types of composites. Uh, it is a, the, one of the topic of third unit of CY3151 Engineering Chemistry. Before discussing about uh, types of composite, we have to know about what is composites, right? The composite is a new material uh, which is a combination of two materials with different physical and chemical properties. When they are combined, they create a new material which is specialized to do a certain job. For instance, to become stronger, lighter or resistant to electricity. They can also improve the strength and stiffness of the materials. It is mainly made up of two important phases namely metric phase and reinforcement phase. Next, we are going to see about uh, uses of composite. The composite metal are generally used for buildings, bridges and structures such as boat hulls, swimming pool panels, racing car bodies, bathtubs, storage tanks, Im imitation granite, cultured marble sinks, etc. They are also being increasingly used in general automobile automotive applications. Next, we see about uh, types of composites. Based on the uh, matrix used, they are classified into following four types. One is polymer composites or fiber reinforced polymer composites, simply we can say F or B. The second type is metal matrix composites, simply we can say MMC. And third type is ceramic matrix composites, simply we can say CMC. And finally, hybrid composites. Now we can see one by one. Right? The polymer composites are fiber reinforced polymer composites. Simply we can say FRB, I already told you that. And the FRB also called fiber reinforced plastics. It is a composite material made up of polymer matrix reinforced with fibers. The fibers are usually uh, glasses, carbon or aramid. Although other fibers such as paper or wood or aspartas have been sometimes used. Uh, see the di diagram. It consists of uh, two top layer, one middle layer. The top layer is a polymer matrix and the middle layer is a fiber. Uh, that is called reinforced fiber. So this is called FRB. Next we see about uh, properties of FRB. The fiber reinforced polymer composites offers not only high strength to weight ratio but also reveals expansional properties such as high durability, stiffness, damming property that means mechanical property, flexual strength and resistant to corrosion, wear and fire. These are the very important properties of FRB. The properties of FRB mainly depends on the nature of the resin used in the uh, FRB, right? Uh, see the table table column. Uh, if you are using polymer polyester resin in the FRB to provide the very good strength and mechanical properties. If you are using epoxy resin in the FRB to impart good mechanical properties. If you are using silicone resins to impart excellent thermal and electrical properties. If you are using phenolic resin in the FRB to withstand high temperature. If you are using thermoplastic like polyamide, PET, etc. It possesses repeatability and repairability. So, the properties changing by using usage of matrix used in the FRB. Next, we see about uh, FR, uses of FRB. The FRB is generally used in uh, construction of bridges, construction of buildings, laying of railway platforms, cooling towers, and rehabilitation of existing structures. The FRB is a strong and lightweight sustainable material with lower carbon footprint than traditional materials. However, the FRBs are not uh, as uh, widely used as expected. And second type, metal matrix composites, simply we can say MMCs. The MMC are a group of materials such as metals, alloys or intermetallic compounds incorporated with various reinforcing phases such as particulates, whiskers and continuous fibers. 
the aluminium based composites is example of mmc next we can see about uh, properties of mmcs the mmc possesses very important properties like uh, it possesses low density uh, high strength to weight ratio high temperature strength retention excellent creep properties fatigue and wear resistance these are the very important properties of mmcs next we see about the uses of mmc and the mmc used in various field like transportation manufacturing of cutting tools uh, preparation of customer uh, electronics defense department space department aerospace department marine etc next we can see about a uh, new uh, third type of composite ceramic metal mat matrix composites so we simply we can say cmcs the ceramic matrix composites are composite material and technical ceramics like alumina silicon carbide aluminum nitride silicon nitride or zirconia they consist of ceramic fibers embedded in a ceramic matrix forming a ceramic fiber reinforced materials carbon carbon cmc carbon silicon carbide cmc silicon carbide silicon carbide carbide cmc and al2o3 al2o that means aluminum oxide cmcs are important examples of ceramic matrix composites next we see about uh, properties of ceramic matrix composites the cmc possesses very important properties like high thermal shock and creep resistance high temperature resistance excellent resistance to corrosion and wear inertness to aggressive chemicals these are the important properties of cmc next we see about uh, uh, uses of cmcs the cmcs is used in uh, uh, aerofe sector in aerofe sector is used to making the gas turbines structural reentry thermal production and it is used in energy sector in energy sector is used as a heat exchangers a fusion a reactor walls etc and finally is a fourth type of uh, uh, composites and the hybrid composites the hybrid composites are material that are fabricated by combining of two or more different types of fibers within a common matrix examples carbon aramid reinforced epoxy glass carbon reinforced epoxy these are the very important examples of hybrid composites next we see about properties of hybrid composites and hybrid composites possesses uh, balanced strength and stiffness of the material balanced bending and uh, membrane mechanical properties balanced thermal distortion stability and also possess reduced weight and or cost and possess improved fatigue resistance etc next we see about the uh, uses of hybrid composites the hybrid composites are used in automobile industry in automobile uh, to uh, uh, used as a interior and uh, exterior applications and aerofes department and used in construction department and uh, preparing of household purposes thank you